Hello everybody, All Your Base Chris here, and this video we're looking at running Coffin OS R58 on WinUAE. Pretty simple stuff really. Uh, first of all, get hold of a copy of Coffin OS. It is out there. Usual places probably apply. And once you download it, all you need to do is to load the file into WinUAE. Do that by going to hard drives. Now you'll see here we have the path on here. It says Coffin R58. You just select add hard file, um, add, then it gets a path open up. I'm just going to show you, I'll modify the properties on this one. So you get this screen up, navigate to where the file is. Now you've probably got hard disk image files selected here. If you select all files, it'll show up as an image file and you can open it. And WinUEA can read this no problem. So hit OK. You'll need to configure the emulator to run properly. So we'll go to CPU and FPU. Now this is going to sound a bit odd, but you really want 68020, which is the processor that was in the A1200. Only we're going to select fast as possible, just in time, JIT, and for an FPU select 68882. I know that seems weird, we're having a slower processor, but there are reasons for it. It actually performs better this way. So chipset, leave it on AGA, advanced chipset, leave on compatible settings. ROM, you want your Kickstart version 3.1. I've got this one, it's the A4000 Kickstart, doesn't really matter, as long as it's Kickstart ROM 3.1 it'll work. RAM, chip memory 2 megabytes, I tell you what, let's push that up to 8, just for a laugh. Uh, Z3 fast, 128 megabytes. Floppy drives, you can leave them as however you want. We've done hard drives, expansions, leave as is. RTG board, UAE03, and push the VRAM up to 128. And that should give you everything you need to run Coffin OS, apart from if you want internet access, in which case you need to go to miscellaneous, no, miscellaneous, it's not miscellaneous anymore, is it? It's, uh... Where'd it go? I actually sounded like I knew what I was doing for a second there, didn't I? Never mind, right, we'll come back to that another time. Doesn't really matter. It was just if you wanted internet access through the... Ah, here we are. It's in expansions. You want the BSD socket library ticked. Sorry, I've got, I'm, I've got myself confused as to where it was. Once you've done that, go to configurations, give your configure name, hit save, and you're away. So let's hit start. This is new. Uh, we've got the Coffin Startup Wizard we're going to install for real. So hit proceed. Select your input preferences. Uh, personally, I'm British, so I'll use that one. Hit save. And time zone, I'm in the United Kingdom. Hit save. TCIP stack, we'll leave it on AMI, uh, AMI TCP. Proceed. Configure network now. No. Visual preferences recommended. Yeah, we'll do that. Proceed. And would you like to adjust drive geometry settings? Yes, proceed. Installation complete, hit proceed. And guess what? Here we go. So here we are in the Coffin OS Workbench desktop. Pretty nice. Uh, running at slightly lower res than I'd like, so I'm going to change it by going into System, Prefs, screen mode and i'm going to push it all the way up to full hd 1920 by 1080 at 32 bit colors test i can see that hit ok hit save great and now i'm going to hit f12 and i'm going to hit reset to see if this sticks Mm. 
Okay, so let's have a look. What do we have here? Uh, we've got uh, AMI TCP, that's uh, web browsing, FTP, chat, directory opus, terminal, uh, editing software, notepad. And this is interesting. This is full motion video, MPG. Not going to run too much of that because it's probably copyrighted. And yeah, that runs, as you can see. And this is uh, AMI mp3 so this will play mp3 files so is there anything here that uh, I could get away with so this is an mp3 so yeah I mean it's a fairly capable Amiga running quite some good stuff but will that go away it's not going to go away uh, let's do a right click on it and make it go away project quit Thank you. Right. <laughs> Let's have a look, look at what's included. So we've got 23.8 gigabytes of stuff in here. 2D programs. These are generally art programs. 3D, 3D ray tracing stuff. Benchmarks could be interesting. Let's uh, try uh, AIB 66, uh, 677. And let's give it a test. Boom. That's not bad, is it? How do we compare to a stock A1200? Uh, well, mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> 1600. Yeah, so definitely, definitely faster. General. Quit. All right. So benchmarks are there. If you want to flex it a bit. Demos. These are demos that you wouldn't see on a stock Amiga, so they run slightly better, but ah, bad apple, always a good test. Seems to run okay. I'm gonna to have to reset that because I couldn't figure out how to create out of it. <laughs> You've got the full WHD load suite here, so all of the games are on here as well. They do work. I'm not gonna demonstrate any of these because uh well they just work, basically. And this is the sort of thing you can do on a standard Amiga installation, so although it is quite nicely laid out here, I'm not going. Uh, we've got Scum VM as well, which is an interesting uh, one because uh, these are games you wouldn't see on a stock Amiga. They just couldn't run them. So that was the dig. That's my mouse pointer got. Right, let's <laughs> reset it again. That shapeshifter, which is a Mac OS emulator, that runs beautifully, by the way. Uh, I'm not going to demonstrate it now because, uh, you know, I don't want this video to overrun too much. I just want to show you a couple of really interesting things. So in the games folder here, we have some real goodies here, such as Quake and Duke Nukem. So where's Quake gone? Here we go. Quake. So let's run Ami Quake. Look at that. <laughs> Quake, six forty times forty eight. So Quake runs beautifully. Uh, Quake 2. Quake 
Quake 2 running on an Amiga. Again, that's not something you say every day. That's Spear of Destiny, which is Wolfenstein, Wolfenstein. And we'll just do the impressive stuff for now. So, Amiga Descent. Boo. Yes, yes, blah, blah, blah. If anything, that's running too fast. Well, it works anyway. We know that descent works. So, free space works. If anything, free space runs too fast. Quick two. Let's do Duke Nukem. Everybody likes a bit of Duke Nukem. Can we? Can we? No. Let's rock. Dang. Those alien bats aren't even gonna pay for shooting up my ride. <laughs> Duke Nukem 3D, this is a... Uh... Full mouse support there as well, which is quite nice. Heart of the Alien, it's uh, Another World 2, which was like a Mega CD original, I thought. Heart of Darkness is on here. Um, payback is... <laughs> Going mental. This is the Grand Theft Auto... Um, Anything that runs too fast. Oh, ah. Okay. Whoosh. <laughs> We've got mist as well. By Jove, it's missed. Ooh, wow. And yet again, let's uh, reset that. <laughs> absolutely loads of stuff here it's not a bad choice if you want an operating system that just does everything for your emulated Amiga it doesn't have the uh, the soul of like classic workbench 3.1 without anything else and I mean obviously that's just my opinion and I quite like the mister for its sort of the limitations actually make it more fun to play with in my opinion but pop an OS any good? Yes, Vision 58 really tidies things up as well. I'm really impressed with it. Plus, it, it comes with pretty much all of the big hits on the old Amiga. Let's 
Let's uh, just as a bonus, let's try and get network working. Connect by LAN. Device would be let's do PP Ethernet and one way two one six eight. I don't think it matters actually what IP address I give it. Two five five two five five zero because it's being passed through Win UEA anyway. So ah, server address. Uh, I'm going to give it the same. It says networks online. Okay. Just for love. Google.com. There we are. We're online with uh, our virtual Amiga. There are some better web browsers in the programs. I think. Oh, I'll allow access. <laughs> Windows is saying, are you sure you want this to happen? Uh, NetSurf is pretty cool. NetSurf is actually WebKit, I think. Handle websites better. Let's try Amiga.org. Pretty cool. Just for giggles, that's uh, connect to Ami AmiNet. Is there a UK one? No. So yeah, this is AmiNet. This is how you can get new software for installation. Download it straight from AmiNet onto your virtual Amiga. IRC client. Directory Opus. Always useful mainstay. And edit pad. So yeah. It's really nice, I have to say, and I mean, I like the way everything's been laid out. You've got the nice menus in the background here where you can do stuff that some of it isn't particularly relevant to an emulated Amiga, but it's still pretty cool. Let's do a reboot now and see what happens. There we go. Huh. Yeah, so in conclusion, Coffin R58. It's just a nice refinement on the previous version of the operating system. It's definitely loads of fun to play with. And the fact that it's got some of the updated uh, ports for the Amiga, it's wonderful. Definitely give it a go. If you can't find it, it's, it is out there. Um, there's a magnet link doing the rounds, which have a, if you have a torrent climb, it's good to find. If uh, you are looking through my previous videos, uh, when I did the Coffin R57 one, that's definitely worth checking out, especially if you're struggling to find Coffin R58. Anyway, from uh, myself, Audio Base Chris, thanks again for watching, and hope to see you again sometime soon. <laughs>